The chef is an amazing role for beginners that are new to the game. Even on role-playing servers where people need to eat, your job is still relatively low maintenance and low responsibility. Because it is easy to learn some basic recipes, in-game manuals, and on some maps being able to just cook pizzas instantly with the pizza oven as well as ordering Chinese food charge. and ordering pizzas from Quartermaster and Cargo, you'll be okay. That being said, if you have a good imagination, the chef is a great place to learn the intricacies of Goon Station code. For example, you can put any six ingredients between two slices of bread. And when I say any, I mean any. You can put monkey meat, braids, ketchup, a whole fried knife, and pills between two slices of bread and make a sandwich and serve it to people. Then you could take that entire sandwich before giving it to someone and fry the whole thing. Then you could take that fried sandwich with all those ingredients inside of it and any regions and components you put into it. People will get those effects of the drugs or poison, whatever medicines from Med Bay. Then you can roll that sandwich up into sushi with other things, other ingredients, and serve that to more people, cutting up the sushi and giving it out in bites. The possibilities have a very high glass ceiling. Your basics of cooking fall in categories of soup making, cake making and cookies, and donuts, basically desserts, bread making, bread will be officially free of the infamous yoga mat chemical, which you can combine various different breads that you make into various different sandwiches. Hamburger making is also a huge aspect of cooking. Still cooking hamburgers with real butter? And you'll have a huge list on the Wikipedia of burgers you can make. And a lot of stuff in between from tacos to lasagna, to pasta. The Wikipedia is your best friend as a chef because really this job is about just learning the recipes. And you do that through the Wikipedia and experimentation. Acquiring ingredients is your main job before serving food to people. And you get most of your ingredients from botany, and animals on the ship that you find and butcher, monkeys being the main source. As a chef, you will master the art of dispatching a monkey. Just do it! This is disgusting. Monkey takedown procedures. And you'll get good at finding bed sheets to cover the monkey's head, going to get blindfolds for medical, syringes full of morphine to knock the monkey out, trying to feed the monkey beer, and various other methods to destroy the monkey and turn him into monkey burgers. And many people do not know this, but the chef can be a black market bootleg surgeon by throwing a sedated monkey onto a table and using your pizza cutter as a saw and your kitchen knife as a scalpel. And you can harvest various organs and body parts from the monkey to make specialty items like butt burgers or brain burgers. The chef also has access to the morgue in Medbay. And if you are polite with the chaplain, if you can get some heavy handed deals in place. And the chef can make some real questionable foods from ex-fellow crewmates and also enemies of the ship. Making a traitor lasagna is always a yummy treat for the crew. With the chef, a lot of people think it's a simpleton job or an innocent job or a job that you have no power over the crew. And that's very wrong. The chef holds the power of life and death in his palms. The chef people run to 
when they can't make it to med bay to heal themselves of medium to mild injuries because food will heal you, especially good food. And good food also buffs like a MMORPG World of Warcraft shaman. That is what the chef is. You can buff people with your good food. But you can also poison people. For years and years, chefs have been infamous for cooking floor pill soups and poison cakes of various degrees. The chef has access to insert anything he wants into his recipes throughout the entire process. And because the ingredients are shown practically on the items you eat, for the most part, you have plausible deniability to a degree if people harm themselves on your extra spicy welding fuel, ethanol, and meth soup. When I'm not chef, if I want to get messed up, sometimes I bypass the bar and go right to the chef and get one of his concoctions that'll really send me into a tailspin, possibly ending up in medbay. The chef has environmental weapons. What I mean by that is he has a freezer that's deadly. You can adjust the temperature. Here you can get rid of enemies, monkeys, animals, anything. Your freezer of doom will shut it down. You have meat spikes that you can impale your hunted targets on and cut meat from them. You have a gibber, an item that jibs your target. You could put dead targets in only, but it completely gets rid of evidence and turns anything into meat product for you to eat. Even your ice cream machine can have custom cocktails, poisons, regents, and chemicals inserted into it with a beaker or a container, and you can make ice cream of various flavors, if you know what I'm saying. The chef truly is a magical role that you should definitely dive into and learn all the cool different recipes and see how deep the wiki is. The wiki has hyperlinks everywhere that you can click on and find basically hidden recipes, hidden things, and ideas for you to try. Let's just say one of them includes sandwiches, cakes, various items, and probably a few upset admins when it's all done. Yes, sandwiches can even be lethal to the server itself and not just individual players. There is even a loaf-making machine that is buried and hidden, basically, in maintenance by security on every map. And this loaf-making machine is not for regular bread loaves. This is for prison loaves, people that are in jail and only can be fed these prison loaves that you could throw anything into. This machine and it pops out a, a loaf. And on the wiki, you can see that you could throw so much into these things that they become gravitational wells that can destroy the entire station itself. The chef is a power house of mystery and infinite magic through cooking, through ladle work, through knife craft, through monkey taming, and through their ability to craft magical wontons filled with sewage. Definitely check out the chef and serve up some good grub for the spacemen out there in the universe. I'm here to help you, but clearly you can't help your fucking self! The chef starts out, we'll check out his PDA. The most important thing you'll need on the PDA would be to request gear from the quartermaster. You can do a whole new kitchen. You could request alcohol. You could request pretty much anything you can think of. In terms of equipment, you can order a distillery. 
You could order pizzas already cooked for the crew. That's always fun. You can get Chinese food delivered, which if you order all this stuff and put it out on the bar or out on your food, it's good. It's helpful because you get all this food out there for people and then you can work on your experiments here in the kitchen. And it's a very small kitchen on Atlas, but all the equipment is here. The chef always spawns with a meat cleaver that does more damage than a knife. But you have a small chance of hurting yourself while using it in a fight. All the knives have the same purpose while butchering meat. And all animals can be used as meat. We will get to that in a little bit. We're going to go over some of the equipment here in the kitchen. The kitchen helper mixer. This is what you can use to mix various things to make into ingredients to cook, like pancake mix, meat paste to make pepperoni. Here is a microwave, one of many things that you can cook in. People rarely use that anymore. This is the stove and on top of the stove was a pot. See this pot here? Very important and it also comes with a ladle. You need the ladle to extract contents from the pot. Soup is a very special type of food we will talk about. The rolling pin used to flatten dough, usually for making pizzas and that uh, tree of food. Pizzas, cookies, you know, flat doughs, preparations like that. You can also make pasta with the rolling pin and tortillas. It's also a pretty good weapon. This is your table, which is always helpful to put stuff on. Uh, your different ingredients, you just click on it with an item. You could place stuff on it, kind of store stuff. Your job as a chef is not to keep the kitchen clean in Space Station 13. Your job as a chef is to feed the crew whatever you see fit. Whether you want to feed them healthy meals or extremely unhealthy meals, that's up to you. This is your fryer. You can fry anything, anything, and it becomes an edible item. This is the oven. This is your main source of cooking besides the fryer in the kitchen. And with various times on here, okay, from 1 to 10 seconds, and then high or low setting, you can make various food items. We'll test that later. Here's the processor. We could put meat in here, process it in the meatballs. You use this for a lot of different things. You could put wheat in here and make flour that comes out, for example. Here is one of your refrigerators. Some kitchens have a lot more refrigerators. Again, this is Atlas, a small kitchen. And in this refrigerator, we have your cheese box, which is your only source of cheese, unless you make cheese, which you can make out of vomit and milk mixing it into a fire extinguisher and spraying it or making a smoke bomb out of it. You can get more eggs now from the rancher. This is your maple syrup. It's a condiment. It adds flavor to food, basically. But what that means is it adds healing and buffs to food with all the other condiments, ketchup, mayonnaise, salt. Um, here's Space Cola drink. Butter is very, very, uh, very important to the chef. Why? Why is butter so important? Because butter is the silent killer. Of course, butter is a very expensive commodity. The silent killer of the station. Cholesterol. Butter turns into in the blood. Here is our knife. Look. This knife now is a fried knife. We're going to eat it. Mmm. Uh-oh. You scald yourself trying to consume the boiling substance. Let's fry some butter. Luckily, let me get to the next bit of equipment. In the kitchen, you will have your food tech vending machine. In here, you have all your equipment. Okay, here we're going to get another knife right now. Yay! Let's get two knives. And in here, you have everything you need to cook, to serve. They have plates in here. Bowls, forks, and spoons, which are very important. More 
ingredients, okay? Until you have to make your own flour, this is your main source of flour. You understand flour? We're going to show you in a minute, so we're going to take that. Let's take this island with us. I control clicked it. This is a kitchen island. Because we are on a private server that no one's on at the moment, this is their backup server, everyone's on main, we are enjoying the comfort of not having to rush or caring. Back here is a pasta locker. Kitchen cabinet full of spaghetti noodles, your uniforms, another rolling pin. Is there a mouse in here? Here, we're going to show you butchering. The first butcher. Now, this mouse, okay, Remy, he's pretty important. In the event that the ship gets a outbreak of a certain vicious plant species of kudzu, this mouse is one line of defense against the kudzu as he eats it. So I don't advise killing Remy, but you can kill Remy. It's perfectly fine. We take our knife now, we click on uh, a dead animal, and it butchers it into food. This is Remy meat. We'll take the Remy meat with us. It also made some leather, which you could give to your friendly engineering slash mechanic team, construction team, mining team, whatever team you want to call it. And they can make stuff out of the leather. So now you're not only a chef, you are a leather worker. We're going to take one of the Remy meats, we're going to put it in the food processor. I'm just giving you examples of what you can do. And you click on the food processor and now it's processing after I loaded it. Let's take the other Remy meat and, oh wow, our fried butter is probably burnt or it's extremely fried. Fried butter. Okay, we're going to put that down. That's an ingredient for later. Here's a mystery meatball. It's mystery because it's made out of a mouse. Okay, this other meat we're going to fry in the fryer. And now we're going to make bread. Let me show you the power of bread. We take the flour and you need a water source. You have to mix water and flour. Now you could do that in various ways. Literally by going to the pool with a, with a cup and getting water out of the pool, going to the bar, you asking for a pitcher of water, or just going to your sink here and clicking on the sink with the flour. Now you have regular dough. Nothing else. Now again, we're going to take this dough. We're going to bake it in the oven. One second on low is all you need for bread. Now you have a loaf of bread. You need to take a knife, cut the bread, and you have slices. So now we have a bunch of ingredients. What can we do? We have fried Remy meat, right? Well, why don't I show you how to make a sandwich? One of the main staples of food you're, you can make in Goon Station. These are ants. Now ants, we can space ants. We can collect these with a beaker and put them into food, put them into a fire extinguisher, uh, have a lot of fun with them basically. They, they're, they're a fun little little thing from just leaving food out. And they get into the food. But to make a sandwich, you put one piece of bread in the oven and then you put your fillings. Then you take another slice of bread and then you cook this on six seconds on low. And this is going to become a sandwich, hopefully. For all the ingredients, you really want to read the wiki and have the wiki up, either on a phone or a second monitor, while you're playing chef, so you can whip up any recipes you'd like on the fly, as Botany sends you whatever fruits, vegetables, or drugs they make you for the day. You can change your recipes, and adapt them as you go. The chef is one of my favorite roles to play when I don't want too much responsibility, but still want to have some fun and be creative. I hope this guide allows you to explore your culinary mastery the next time you're on the space station. Thank you for watching. Give a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't, and please consider subscribing. I would love it if you subscribed and stuck around. That really helps out. I want to thank my Patreons out there for supporting the show. You guys rock.